This video is a brief overview of how the ILL process works in Destiny. First, click on the Circulation tab at the top. Then, type in the Patron information to find the Patron. Once the Patron information has shown up, click on the link. From here, click on Holds slash ILL. You will see the Patron name. At the top, you'll fi see Find Patron. You already have your patron, so instead, on the right at the bottom, you will see Add Hold. Click Add Hold. Then, you can find by title, author, or keyword. Once you've typed in the title, you then want to choose whether you want to place this as a hold in your library or as an interlibrary loan with all participating libraries, then choose Go. From here, you will see the titles that pop up from that search. You then want to choose. You may see that we have multiple copies of a title. This will often be because it is a different version. Uh, you'll notice this one was published in 82. The one below was published in 78. Click on the title that you wish to hold. Then you're going to choose whether you want it as soon as possible or reserve for a specific date. Click Save. From here, you can choose to automatically fulfill the request, or you can choose a particular elementary school where you would like to fill that request. Once you choose the campus, then at the top right, click Save. You will then see the holds that that patron has outstanding that need to be filled. So from the perspective of filling holds, now I'm now at the library that uh, needs to fill this hold, you have a couple different ways to get there. One is you can click on the flag with the exclamation mark or click on circulation, then choose holds. Then on the right hand side, you'll see view requests. Click on view requests to see your local requests that have been requested by your students to fill and your interlibrary loan requests. From here, you have a couple of different options. You can pull the copy, you can decline it. It is okay to decline a hold. If you choose to decline, the librarian of the requesting library will not be automatically notified of the declined request uh, via email. Instead, when they click on their view request to look at the ILL request that they have, um, they will see this message declined. If you have included a reason for declining, uh, that reason will show when they click on the little quotation bubble. Uh, if you are the library that was the requesting library and you have a declined ILL request, you need to uh, make a note of that title, delete that request, and then place a new request with another campus. It would be most helpful for the librarian who is declining the request to also send a quick email letting the librarian from the requesting library know that that request has been declined so that they can go in and quickly delete and replace that ILL request. So that is one option to decline. Uh, you can also pull a copy you want to click pull copy if you are planning to physically check the book out and hand it to the patron there at your campus. But if you are shipping this through inner office mail, you need to click ship it. You then need to go pull that copy off of the shelf. Make sure that you are pulling the correct barcode number from the shelf. Choose packing list. When you click Packing list, it will take you to a reports page. Click view. This will pull up a sheet that you can then print if you want uh, to send with the book. This will let the receiving librarian know what, uh, who the patron is and the book that goes to that patron. As the receiving library, when you get that package in, you open it up. Uh, and see that it's a book that's been sent to you. Again, you can click on this flag with the exclamation mark or click on circulation, holds ILL, view requests, and you will see that you have a book on route. If it is in your hands, you then click receive to receive that book. From there, you can then click on the eyeball next to the patron to pull up the patron's account information. Click 
check out, scan the barcode, click find copy, and you'll notice that it will immediately check that book out to the patron. Now, when the book comes back in from that patron, you will click check in. You'll check that book back in. And then it's telling you that this item must be returned back to Price Library. If you go and look at the hold itself, you'll see that it has disappeared. For the librarian or the library that lent the book out, when that book comes back to you, so you should get a package with the book in it, you need to click on your flag and with the exclamation mark or click circulation holds view requests to get back to this page you should see status returning you will you then need to receive this book back so you click receive and now the book is showing back as available in your catalog so if you were to do a search in your catalog for it you would then see that that book is once again available now let's say that a librarian has popped a book back in the inner office mail to you, but you've never received it. So it's the end of the year, you haven't received that book. You now have the option, instead of just this um, ongoing returning that never goes away, you can now go in and if you can't receive the book, because it hasn't come back in, you can click lost and mark that book as lost. Then if that book ever does show up, or let's say it has come in, um, but it never actually, no one actually clicked receive to receive it. Uh, you click lost and that book actually will show up, uh, whether it's an inventory or any other time that you scan that book, it'll show up as lost and then found. And so this newest update gives us the opportunity to mark some of those books lost rather than having them sit in the holds ILL page forever. If you have any questions about holds ILL and that process, please do not hesitate to contact Library Services. We are always happy to help work through that with you.